Yeah, yeah, yeah. We back again, back again. How you feeling, sir? How you feeling, man? How you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm here in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Made it from South Carolina last night. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, today. I got back today, and, and we here with the guys. We back in the in the stew, so we're ready to do it again, man. It's all good. Man, listen. And it won't easy getting back here. What? No, it never is, right? Man, <laughs> One listen. day we're going to have some assistance to help us mm-hmm. set this whole th- this operation, man. It's a... You know what I'm saying? It's a task and duty for, for three guys to Absolutely. do, but we make it work. No complaints. We make it work. Man, listen, it's a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff that people, not just us, make look easy. Mm-hmm. Like things, you might be on Instagram, you might be on TikTok, you might be on YouTube. Like looking at somebody do something, it's like, oh, that can't be right. that difficult. It can't can be that challenging. That. Like, right. real doing that, I ain't, ain't, man, ain't <laughs> no way it take that much to do it. Shit. Still got that. Nah, man. He, nah, man. He just, he just screamed for him. Nah, 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 Come nah, on, nah. He don't understand the rest of it. You know what Family. I'm saying? We got a guest today that makes a lot of stuff look easy. If you right. just look at him and just say, you look at him, you're like, oh, man, like, anybody can do that. Anybody you know can make it TikTok. A simple mind right. would say that. But we all know that actually create in this room, understand how much energy effort that it takes not only to be consistent, but how much talent it takes to actually right. come up with the creative idea, the creative yeah. genius. So today we have with us brother Christian Haynes, <laughs> man. G Black Badger, man. So, uh, so, what's going on, brother? Not much. I want to say this is our first you know um, guest on the show. So you always gonna first have that to, to hey, go like I feel when, honored. when the show blow up. Hey, like, oh the yeah, first I'll, one on the show, the first one. So it's lit, bro. Happy to have you. Yes, sir. I'm Heard a lot of good things, here. seen a lot of good things, and um, we gonna get the people. My my big thing I've been telling Brew, we want to get people that like haven't had the chance to be interviewed or just mm-hmm. haven't interviewed. Period. Mm-hmm. Just like you just been so caught up in work and just doing stuff. Sometimes like the interview stuff just doesn't happen right. You know what I'm saying immediately, but it's good to um, give you that space to. Get personable. Like this is what I feel like. People watch your videos, but now they be like, I want to know a little bit more about him. You exactly. know, and this is what this is. So I think it's good that you're here. Obviously, Brill advocated for you heavily to be here. Bro, you legend, know what I'm saying? Legend. So, legend. You're a legend. legend. Yeah, I did my research legend. too. So we happy we happy you're here, bro. For sure. Appreciate it, man. Mm-hmm. Glad to be here. For sure. Yeah, no problem, man. So to start off, right, this is like a little icebreaker. <laughs> we gonna play a game okay. right, that we call Dog Eat Dog. Was that mm-hmm. not that time? Dog Eat Dog. <laughs> yeah, they, they were joking though because I talk pretty fast. You know what I mean? So, Dog Eat Dog. How this game works is, I'm gonna bring out an option with absolutely no uh, context. Right? I'm gonna bring out an option, and then I'm gonna face that with another option. You can either choose option one or option two. Let's mm-hmm. say you choose option two. Option two will then be faced with another option. Mm. And then, you know, it'll go just like that. And if you don't know what's going on, if you're listening and you're not watching, or if you're watching and you don't understand stuff, you're a little slow, we're going to play this. And it's real (laughs) easy to catch on. You feel me? Okay, so. Here we go. Hey, Arnold. Mm Mm-hmm. Fairly our parents. Brother Christian. Yeah, it's all for you. Uh, Let's see. I'm I'm going to go with Hey, Arnold, because of Gerald. (laughs) Because of Gerald. Coolest dude on the last in black. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> that's tough. black sidekick history <laughs> yeah. yeah we split ways already you're pretty proud of that don't you yeah. i love hey arnold I mean, best, theme song, the best theme song one of the best theme songs oh yeah 100 percent. all right okay here we go it's gonna get only more challenging as we go along hey arnold jimmy neutron oh uh i'm gonna go with jimmy neutron Ooh, ooh wow. yeah. get him up out of here okay here we go <laughs> jerry right up out of here <laughs> <laughs> all right jimmy neutron proud family Oh, proud family. Ooh, okay. Did you see they came back with a little song? Yeah, I, yeah. I saw some of the episodes. You watched Kyla it? Pratt has not aged, it, I bro. I know. She did an interview. She literally looks the exact same and sounds the same, too. Mm. And she got a little daughter now. Little no, that's crazy. That shows you how old we getting. That's yeah. beautiful, yes. Yeah. Proud family, kids next door. Proud family. Proud family, courage, the cowardly dog. Mm. <laughs> 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 what he's saying? Nah, yo, Kurt, that that show Loki was scary. No, Loki. it's a creepy show. Like, like watching it back as an adult, I'm like, it's no way we was watching uh, this. Top tier child suspense. Top tier child suspense. Nah, that was like so, horror. Uh, wait, what was it? It was it was uh, proud family, courage, the cowardly dog. Woo! I'm. I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with Proud Family. Okay, Proud Family. Proud Family SpongeBob. It's on you. Dang, that's a lot. That's some good comedy in SpongeBob. That, that's a lot of influence. Decades you know what of I'm work. Saying? Decades of work, man. I'm gonna go with SpongeBob. 
just because of the influence okay yeah yeah you know what i'm saying and longevity yeah the first episode i think came out like 95 96 so that's we was crazy like kids, i was born kids. in 97 not 96 only, not only that yeah. but i feel like even though when did spongebob go off air it's still on. It's still on. It's like still new episodes. Where they go to hell? Yeah, <laughs> no, bro. Because I, because I feel like no, nothing right. else spreads like no other uh, cartoon child yeah. show spreads that far into culture. Like everybody worldwide, everybody knows SpongeBob. <laughs> For okay, hold. Oh, you got two more options. SpongeBob. I got. I feel like this is gonna be a landslide. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. <laughs> That's a good one. I That's a good one. Billy and Mandy. There's some jokes I still remember from Grim. For real. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. Billy was an idiot though. I'm yeah, tell you that. that nigga was an idiot. idiot. He was stupid. <laughs> he was an idiot. Um I did enjoy Grim. I, I'm a, I'm gonna go with Grim. Go wow. with Grim? I'm okay, actually okay. gonna go with Grim. The, the okay. sleeper, okay. Grim, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie, okay. Ain't, ain't, take no time Ooh, with that. Ed and Ed, Eddie, so that's which, gonna win that round. Which one of your Ed, Ed or Ed? Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite character out there? Ed. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> the money hungry Ed. I like, I like what you did um, there. What's uh, the other one? Uh, then it was which one was Eddie? You know, I used to think uh, one was the a girl. one with the hat right. was a girl. Right, right. That's I thought Eddie. that was a girl. Yes, yeah, for I did the too. Longest. For a long time. My yeah. favorite one was the main, the pink, the pink one. The, you know, you know the pink one, the one the with one the, like two hairs oh, on his head. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah, went yeah. to he got, he got on punishment, and the nigga had no stairs. They took the stairs out of the nigga room. <laughs> That's vicious, bro. The jawbreakers used right. to be. Jaw- you I like that. that <laughs> <pink male jawbreaker>. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> that's stupid. That was funny. That was a funny episode. Oh, that was man. a funny episode. So that concludes this. <laughs> this <laughs> You got that visual image in your head. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing I think of, man, from TikTok, man. So that concludes this uh, this time of Dog Eat Dog, man. I appreciate you for playing with us. Yes, but, sir. Yeah, man. So we got a lot to talk about today, man. Mm-hmm. I have so much, so many questions, man. Uh, shout out to my guy, E-Man, with Push Effect Podcast. So I was just watching that earlier, and I saw how you were saying, okay, you're from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Uh, military parents, if I'm not mistaken, you said pops, Marine, Marines, moms, Navy? Yes, yes. Okay, straight military. Yeah. So, but you, so in my head, my pops was a Marine too. So a very disciplinary type guy. Where does this humor come from? Like, what is this? Oh, yeah. Uh, man, my, my dad is too funny. Oh, for real? He is funny. And like, oh. uh, you know, sometimes I feel like you're born with things, you know, and okay. I feel like comedy was already in my blood because of my pops. Mm. But my mom funny too. Right. But my dad, ever since I grew up, my dad always had us laughing. So, that comedy aspect is 100% from my dad. To this day, he is really? silly and funny. Before we start, bro, that's a, a good good question. Let's, people don't know who he is, I don't think, yet. They don't know who he is? They, they know who he is. They do. Some but I want him to say, because they yeah. might be like, oh, he's a comedian? Or like, In the rare case. Tell us, I was to say, who are you? Because obviously, the comedic part plays into it. For the people mm-hmm. who've never seen you, never. Let's do that first. And then get back into that comedy question because okay, I think okay. that would be a good segue for people who never seen who who are, who is the Black Badger. So the Black Badger, I mean Christian Haynes. Right. Um, so I'm an actor, uh, okay. social media content creator, just usually comedy. But uh, I didn't start off in comedy, you know. Uh, I came here. I know Brill because we went to UNC Charlotte. Okay. But I played football at UNC Charlotte. So right, all right. That, the original that. goal was to play in the NFL. Of but, course. You know that didn't happen. So that's when the pandemic came and right. hit, got bored, and just started doing videos. So Because you got bored? Yes. During the pandemic. Wow. Yeah, I got bored. It's crazy because uh, my girlfriend was actually the first one to record my mo- first viral video. Which was what? Uh, when you take the trash out at night and it feel like someone chasing you back inside. <laughs> ah, so that was, was your first video? Yeah, like in 2020. Yeah. So how did that go? You was you was thinking about it. You was like, babe, can you record this for me real quick? She was like, what? Record like, yeah, oh, yeah. you already doing video? Not, no. so, oh, well, okay, I will say this. So you know what I'm back saying? in high school, okay, I was doing skits on Snapchat. Okay. Uh, so everyone in- uh, neglect Snapchat. Chat. Yeah, <laughs> no, forget about snap. Yeah, so gotcha. everyone in uh, my county, Onslow County, and all the high schools knew that I was doing the skits on Snapchat, and people mm. were like, "Yo, you should get on YouTube." I was like, "Nah, man, I'm trying to go D1. You know, uh, I'm focused yeah. on football." And I was gotcha. like, locked in when it came to football. So um, I was telling him earlier, I went to Elizabeth City first, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. I went to Charlotte. But uh, I didn't jump back on to doing skits again till um, I think my senior year, going into my senior year, and. Okay. Um, 
one of my uh, ex's older sisters said like she would see my videos and they'll be entertaining on my story and she was like you really need to get on YouTube so mm. I was like I might as well you know okay and I like I uh, my degree gr degree was in communications Same. so I was like Likewise. let me let me just start practicing and that that's when I started doing public interviews at first and then at, when that pandemic hit everything changed that's when that came about gotcha. yeah. I just Dang. wanted to get that little preface before we got into that yeah Let, so it he, gave he me a reason to get on social media more he gotcha. said something very important yeah the million followers is cool but he said he went to the lives for a short amount of time that means he had the time a tenure in the 252 went man. to the who? Up in the 252 no, the lives that's the, what y'all call the it the lives Elizabeth City State <laughs> yeah, I didn't know they call it the that the lives that's some 255 <laughs> yeah I'm like what are you talking about deep down the 251 yeah man Elizabeth City was the experience <laughs> it was yeah, we talked about that little off was, camera we got y'all we got y'all beat with stuff to do in jacksonville hey man listen wow. bro there ain't nothing to do in elizabeth city but i i did appreciate my time so. there's only three things to do in a two five one of them is play sports and the other two are illegal <laughs> <laughs> i'll say that i'll say that but gotcha. uh, but uh, so how does i, I kind of even want to stay there like so when you mm -hmm. go from the liz to charlotte like you got the scholarship senior year like how was that football journey like because this isn't the first thing you had to be consistent at work for right mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so and that's literally why i am like i am with my um content is because of my mindset from football yeah uh actually so i went to elizabeth city due okay. to the fact what, what's up no no go ahead, oh, go ahead i went to elizabeth city due to the fact that i didn't uh get accepted into charlotte uh the fall semester Oh, mm. okay, so okay. I didn't want to not play football. So I went to Elizabeth City. My mom was emailing all these schools. I didn't get a scholarship, mm. but she emailed Elizabeth City. And Appreciate it, it, mom. Yes, shout out to mom. She emailed right. Elizabeth City. Uh, they got back to me. I walked on there. Um, only stayed a semester because uh, I didn't really uh, like it as much as I thought. But um, man, I remember uh, I had to decide if I was going to Charlotte that spring semester. Mm -hmm. And so I remember I used to pray a lot, used to pray a lot. Like, right. God, like, show me a sign that I need to leave. Man, Big I ain't gonna lie, bro. I had times where I was crying in my dorm room because I, I just wasn't happy. You was hating it that bad? Yeah, bro. I, I, I just wasn't happy. But, right, you right. know, a lot of people liked it. A lot of people liked it. Yeah. It just wasn't for me. Yeah. So I remember that. praying on it. And then some dude that um, I forgot who, what his name was, but I was about to go to class. And he was like, yo. I was like, what's up? He was like, I just saw your high school highlights. And I was like, yeah. He was like, why are you here? Ooh. <laughs> and, bro, once I heard that, I said, oh, I'm out. No, I'm yeah, out. I got to go. get it going. So, I mean, I prayed on it, went to Charlotte, sat out for a year. Um, and then that whole year I sat out. Like, it wasn't even guaranteed I was going on a football team. The, the staff didn't know me. Right. Wow. Okay. But I consistently worked hard that whole year. Mm. Then I'm going to the football field house every day. Yeah. Every day. Ask if they're going to have tryouts. Eventually, they told me yes. Yeah. Then I figured out something else to go ask them, just to show my face. Yeah. Yeah. Then Coach Landbert would have this Niner show on Monday. I would go to the Niner show. I was, he was, I was persistent. Yeah. And then eventually oh, they tenacious. caught on, and then I tenacious. got on the team. And <laughs> eventually, the it's my senior year, I got that scholarship, and everything worked out. Shit. That's, that's actually crazy. See, so. That's why we got to start there, because the, the other stuff you're doing now, it, it stems from somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, just, yeah. And that's what we were talking about at the beginning of the show. This stuff just don't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The like, hard work that you put in, they just see you on the field. They didn't know you was going to this and that doing this and exactly that. Like, it takes work no, it takes it work so I'm about to say the division one football man even even if you bullshit it it still takes excuse my language it still mm -hmm. takes so many hours out of the day that's a right. full-time job yeah, yeah. So i can't imagine you putting in overtime on top of that that's right. crazy man facts so okay so let's let's fast forward so you mm -hmm. get the scholarship boom you start the content you get you get bored you start the content right pandemic 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 happens world shuts down on board let me just start making videos boom i looked on youtube uh -huh. and i seen i went all the way back and i seen like the very first youtube video oh. i seen you i seen you on a shout out to e-man i seen you on uh, e-man you said you know youtube is probably a baby out of everything and i seen that first video and i just want to say like how did it feel have you watched that your oldest video oh yeah it, it, i was going back watching some old ones the last few weeks i just like going back to where yeah. i start you know what i'm right. saying it keeps yeah. me grounded Man, so for those of you that don't know, uh, and you're listening on audio, man, please yeah. go to YouTube and please watch this hilarious video of him just spit this half bottle of water in his brother's <laughs> face, man. <laughs> 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 oh shit that's crazy yeah. shout out to the brother and shout out to your brother shout out to your girl for like because i know what it's like to ask people i don't know how willing they were to participate yeah but i know how it is to, like bug people to like 
hey, just record this. Just one more time. We fuck it up. Let's do it again. Let's do it no, again. No, yeah. Um, really, shout out to my little brother. That was my first okay. uh, recording partner ever. Really? Wow. Ever. He was the first person I did my skit with from when I was doing it in high school. So wow. if anybody get, need to get his flowers, it's my little brother. Yeah, we he was from here. there from the start. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Sheesh. That's, That's what's, what's up. up. So he don't he don't want to mess with it no more. He about, he about to go to Charlotte now, but. Okay. Uh, now that I have my own business, you know, I'm about to get him in the mix. That's what's up. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So All right. Go ahead. Go go ahead. Go okay, so uh, so you started the skits. Yeah. What what makes you, because you say you started out of boredom. So what the consistency, at what point did it become, nah, I'm doing this every day. Mm-hmm. When did it translate into, nah, this is serious. I'm about, this is what I do. Yeah, so uh, I know in the beginning it was just fun. You yeah. know, but uh, when you go viral, mm. that's when you're like, "Ooh, I like that." I got something so here. it's like, yeah. let me, let me, let me just keep making these videos to go viral again. Cause it, I ain't gonna lie, it feel good. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Phone it feel be blowing good. up. Like, exactly. People just tagging you in this. So you see like, your, your face everywhere. <laughs> exactly. So if I want it again, I'm gonna have to post more. Right. You know. Right. So the odds of it not saying every video I'm gonna post is right. gonna blow up, but I bet out of that group or that uh videos i do for that week or two weeks one of them gonna blow up right and then when that blow up that just leads to more consistency and the uh, odds of another one blowing up and i so. hear a lot about that consistent like everybody like, you got to post every day you know what i'm saying and i guess that leads to be true because like you said every video may not go viral but one of those out of the, the mm-hmm. that week or that month mm-hmm. will go viral and then people expect the next video from you i exactly. guess you know what i'm saying you sort of got like people to uh, appease to people exactly. looking for your content. Yeah. And the first video you talking about, it went viral where? It went on viral on TikTok. TikTok. So I got my start from TikTok. TikTok's where you, oh, okay. TikTok. Yeah. Oh, TikTok man. was where I got my start, and then I started uh, bringing everything everywhere else. Gotcha. So when I posted on TikTok, I just reposted it on Instagram, yeah. and then reposted on YouTube, uh, and wow. it all kind of came together. Beautiful strategy. So which one? Uh, so you got your first viral video on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Which one did you hit the M on first? When did you hit? Which one did you hit the million? Uh, million views? Nah, nigga, nah. <laughs> million, million what? <laughs> what? What million? But I say that's that's t- you got a million on TikTok. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You definitely got oh, subscribers. Yeah, followers. Yeah, followers. Oh, that's what I was TikTok. Saying, TikTok. TikTok. Was TikTok. The, yeah. Really? Give wow. your current yeah. metrics. What you got before? You, where where you at TikTok right now? Oh, followers. TikTok is uh two million on TikTok yep. and then two point five subs on uh YouTube. Wow, and then um a hundred and ten thousand on Instagram. Wow. And then Facebook, 55K. I'm getting up there. Yeah, we don't yeah. even like Instagram like that, for real, for real. Yeah, I love Instagram. I ain't gonna lie. I love Instagram. I ain't gonna lie. It does. It's kind of finicky sometimes, it is. though. It is. I ain't gonna lie. That algorithm is kind of weird. Yeah. It's all messed up, man. Uh, it's what's all it, messed up. Uh, one thing I've noticed, like, I have some really funny skits, man. I yeah. put in a lot of work in it. Right. And nothing happens. But as soon as I do white versus black skits... Then they want to push it out. Oh God! Wow, that's I feel like Instagram it's, it's like that. not even Instagram though. <laughs> I just feel like a lot of social media likes controversial things. Yeah. Mm, and no, like the true. most of my white versus black is very lighthearted and just to be yeah, funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've noticed it was like a trend with all my social media. Wow! But, so it's like I, I enjoy doing them, yeah. but it's like, dang, what about this skin? I thought that was pretty funny. Right. You know, they just want to yeah. see the white. Do the white versus black again. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Come on, that's do it again. Time. Do that thing. That's do that dance. That's crazy. So. Wow. Even with the white versus black thing, I mean, I know you're kind of on the uh, oppressed east side of that because we're, we're all black men. But mm-hmm. like, how do you deal with like other con- controversial matters in this mm-hmm. cancel co- cancel culture society? Mm-hmm. You make a lot of skits every day. It's hard to not get canceled, man. Oh yeah, Just, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I know what not to cross. What what line not to cross? You know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. smart. Um, like I said, the most controversial things i may do is white versus black but you know i feel like i didn't create that that's been a thing people sure. do and when you make it in lighthearted and just for mm-hmm. fun not to offend anyone right i right. feel like but with anything you do bro it, someone's going to get offended of course it, and someone's always going to have something to say so you really just got to keep it pushing but mm. um like i said i i know what not to cross that line i know what to say and what not to say plus mm. it's like i'm i'm need to be marketable as well so okay. Um, yeah, I try to keep it safe and keep it funny and That's clean. A ding point again. Like we should do it, like keep point. be yeah. marketable. Well, consistency is one mm-hmm. for the Number people that's watching for you. What they call it? Spark notes. Spark notes. Spark <laughs> consistency notes. and be marketable. These are your tips to go viral. So so to far, get the ad we only dollars, we a couple, get the ad we're a couple of minutes in, and then we already got deals. Yeah, Jesus. if you want that. 
Definitely you, you monetizing your reels, I'm assuming, on yeah, Instagram yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I honestly, I get paid more on Facebook reels than Instagram. Really? Yeah. So. I don't, I don't. Sometimes I get confused with that stuff. Right, right. You don't have to give us an actual dollar amount, but is your Instagram reels? Do you find them to be like uh, finicky and inconsistent? Because I hit like a little. Mm-hmm. I stopped posting for real on Instagram reels because it it was like this point where uh, when it first came out, and it was like you could be getting paid this, that, and the third. So I'm like, right. All right, babe, I'm gonna try Instagram out. Right. Of course, you know YouTube, the old faithful. Mm-hmm. But I started posting and stuff, and then it got to like, okay, boom. I think I posted one video, and I was at like 145 dollars. And then the next one I post, it went more yeah. viral. Yeah. And then it was like 146. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. foul play. So it's yeah. yours. I've been trying to figure that out too. I'm, I'm just. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just got the 10K mm-hmm. probably during Clay. I feel like Clay. Instagram was holding me for one. Like, I had like 8,000 followers for the long, 8,000, 9,000. When Clay came around, my shit boosted up to 10. I'm like, bro, I should have been at 10. Yeah. But saying that to say, my reels are monetizing, but they do the same thing. Like, it just depends on the video. Mm-hmm. Depends. Some videos decide to, like, go crazy. I'm, just, like, trying to figure it out. So I just do it. I just post them just to, because they're monetizing. Yeah. But I haven't figured out. They. I think it needs to be more of a concrete thing. I think they sort of choose, like, What's going to go, how much you get from it, and that yeah, type of thing. Uh, man, I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't, I'm trying to figure it out, too. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying man, to see I just, <laughs> Like, I think I've, I, I, nowadays I'm more focused on um, who's my audience. So, okay. like, when it comes to Instagram, like, more of our age group is my audience. So, sure. I won't post everything on Instagram. Mm. But, like, when it's, like, stuff that I know more younger adults can uh, um, uh, relate to, then I'll post it up there. But when it comes to getting mm. paid, man, that junk sale about, oh, you can earn about 8500 but right. I don't earn none of that. Right. So wow. I'll, I'll probably earn like maybe 100 or 200 if that, yeah. on Instagram. But I just focus on entertaining people and making them happy when it comes to Instagram for sure. Gotcha. That sucks, man, because Instagram is, no matter how faulty the app is, it has the most uh, social equity, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It yeah. has the most, and that's, that's hell. Like, it shaking my head where are you where are you making the majority of your dollars right now we know we got to put them up like what uh social media platform oh definitely uh youtube the two really and that's y'all boys bad yeah that's why you know what i'm saying y'all in that youtube space and people coming you know they ask me i'm like i don't know you gotta ask brill but Mm -hmm. not you so youtube is yeah youtube and then uh monetizing on youtube uh mainly like ads brands um a lot of them come for tiktok mm. so like i'm a pizza hut ambassador as well Word. so like um run your rap sheet bro this is where you, oh, you can brag say, so it's not even what brands tell telling what you yeah, yeah what Man. brands have you worked with so far <sighs> i've worked with about 20 or th- almost 30 brands really? throughout the years and all glory to god because i ain't had no agent got those for right me. that was all god right there they just hit the youtube email and that just yeah so they hit my regular email so it started from tiktok and wow. then uh majority of my brands are tiktok to be real so i'm just getting into the youtube thing mm-hmm. with brands with them but uh i've worked with netflix uh orbit gum pizza hut a lot um man uh mint mint the app yeah, uh, the financial app. Yeah. I work with them. In what respect are you working with them? What do you? What, so people who don't. What do you? What are you doing? So it'll with them? just be like a one-time type thing. So they'll be mm-hmm. like, oh, we'll offer you this for one TikTok wow. and stuff like that. Yeah. And then like I've done stuff with Impractical Jokers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just oh. different things throughout the years, but um, all content based off of what you sort of do yes, already. It's all comedy, nice. and I think the thing that made me marketable is mm-hmm. because I make comedy, but it's clean and everyone can relate to. So mm. your kid. Could go show his mom and they both can laugh right and the mom could go show her mom and they both can all of them can laugh wow. you know what i'm saying because it's clean yeah. funny relatable so you're not cutting out any you know what i'm saying I, I, I find that a lot like people exclude a lot of people by doing some stuff you include everybody mm-hmm. rather than being exclusive like my jokes are a little dirty or my jokes are a little uh for the younger people or older people there is no like cut off you know what i'm saying no. you're hitting young people old people like clean stuff mm-hmm. the clean stuff goes a, a long way obviously no, you know what I'm saying? it makes you more marketable it does as a brand and yeah and I, um like i don't mind like i, I like uh making my content where the black community mm-hmm. uh, can laugh at it but i also want the white community and the asian community and everyone right. including uh, kevin everybody. hart is big for a reason he's an international Facts. superstar mm-hmm. Facts. everyone likes him right every community right so that's why i'm trying to be when it comes to this content creating space i want everyone to enjoy it so speaking of like kevin hart what is and he asked you earlier what you consider yourself do you 
like ultimate goal what is the is there an ultimate goal like five years you mm-hmm. know if if it's not just crea- content creation what else are we doing like acting stand up mm-hmm. what, what do you see yourself so uh definitely acting uh i've got signed to an acting agency due to tiktok fire <laughs> which is crazy TikTok right is doing it all that uh, is fire. yeah my a girl that went to high school with me she saw my tiktoks and was like yo are you interested in acting and stuff yeah. so i was like yeah yeah so she told her agent the agent something aside to do she liked it and i was taking classes when i wasn't even in acting see so i was just doing it just That's to another point. try it out do it before it's exactly time. you know what i'm saying you was taking classes before you exactly knew that it might come up rather than being on the late end i didn't mean to cut you off no you good i was trying to keep the spark notes yeah no i do got it you. before it's time no for we real definitely got to get the spark notes we're gonna, have, we're gonna have a list of spark notes <laughs> of things that you said go ahead that was that was a but, good point. uh yeah i got the call with the agency and she's a this is one no play play agency now she's based mm. in atlanta new york and wilmington north carolina nice so i did decide she liked it so i've been with her for this is my second year of acting and i've like booked the truest commercial and i booked my first big film feature that's coming to theaters soon in a few years so wow um what's it called it's called that's um big the, shit going on brother what the supreme yeah the supreme's at earl's all you can eat uh sanaya lathan's in it nice um, love and basketball what's his name <laughs> from <laughs> yeah the the, be- the director that made love and basketball love and basketball. she's the director Wow. And it's crazy, bro. I was about to quit acting. And then I no. I ended up getting that audition in the car as I was telling my friend I wanted to quit acting. Yeah, that's God. Like, God. And, then, and, he was like, Boy, you st- and it nah, wasn't bro, like, like usually, <laughs> usually with auditions, you like audition at your place first. But this was a straight callback. Mm. Like, I had to do it on Zoom with the casting director. Like, did right it there. for her. Did it for wow. the director. And I got it. And I told the director, I was like, yo, I was about to quit. And she was like, I'm glad you didn't. Hey, that's that type <laughs> of, like, Chris Brown audition. Where they know they want you, but they uh, just want to say it so yeah. they can say somebody else. Yeah. Nah, you got to audition for the role. Nah, <laughs> yeah. you, you know exactly who you wanted for this role. Wow. Yeah. So, it, it's good. And it, we shot it back where I'm from, uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. So, it was next to really? Jacksonville. Man. That's fire. So, that's fire, bro. Crazy, I mean, man. That's beautiful. So let's uh let's even backtrack. Let's add to those spark notes. Mm-hmm. So um I know I'm I'm pulling you back to the pandemic, but um so you, you had you've had so much success and we wish you much more success. But you know, you come from a culture of football where uh watching film is paramount and mm-hmm. even if you think you play the game perfect, there's always the little details that you kinda see and take account of for next time. Mm-hmm. When you look at, you know, your 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 glow up, your blow up is there anything you look back and wish you could like change or like wish you would have done a little bit better or that you know for the future uh when it comes to like football or what? No, 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 like no, just no, when creation. it comes to content creation oh. you know uh nah nah <laughs> No, I'm gonna be real, yeah, man. Be, I, yeah. I feel like I, I mean, I started from the bottom. It's like I didn't have no help but God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's fine. So I feel like the route I took when I try to help people, that's what I tell them to do. Yeah. You know, um, I'm just blessed that it happened when it happened. Because nowadays, I feel like it's kind of hard to go viral like it was in the pandemic. Because everybody's trying to do it. Yeah. It's a saturated market. And I always talk about that. Like, I, I don't know if we talk. I got a clothing brand. Okay. So. When I started, I started in 2017 in college. Nobody was doing clothes. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of people even had businesses. So at that time, I was in a market of my own. You know what I'm Got saying? You. I was in a lane of my own. Nowadays, it's a thousand people with clothing brands. So like, what makes you stick out between that? You know what I'm saying? Hair care brand. What makes his brand stick mm-hmm. out between that? And one of those things is definitely longevity. And I would say the same with you. You've been doing it for so long to where you've already had your uh what you call you already had your hiccups you mm-hmm. already had like some of those things brill is talking about you already went back on your film and figured out yeah. okay i did this wrong but the stuff we did wrong your business mine and yours probably helped us out you know what i'm saying if somebody was to ask you that like about rich Royce, like would you go back and fix some stuff you probably would absolutely but this, i but, got a long right list but at the same it. time okay. though your fuck, <laughs> ups, your fuck ups led to you Learning. figuring out yeah I'm not gonna do that no more. So if you never would have fucked up, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, if you never fall real, off the bike, you really don't know I how see. to ride it. Sometimes, you know what I'm sometimes it's well. For my case, I'm gonna just speak for me. It, mm-hmm. it, the the mess ups are greatness. They they're beautiful because you learn it before it's important for you. Like before it really matters. Before the stakes are high. Before the stakes are high. Yeah, because mm-hmm. if it would have just ranged cool yeah. the first time all the way through, then I wouldn't really have to understand it as deeply as you I can did. still swipe your new card. Yeah, yeah. I'm new. Once I you know? Know, once you know once the stakes get higher, you need to understand because it's something goes wrong and it's like oh damn mm-hmm. you know it's all 
it's all raps, man. Like some of the mishaps we had today, or well, we had in the first one. If we didn't, if we didn't fuck it up, yeah, we, we didn't fuck know. it up. Then right now we'd be kind of screwed, and we got a guy with you know a million followers on eight different platforms. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. <laughs> hey, but yeah, but now nah, I agree with what y'all saying because now how y'all broke it down, I'm kind of thinking about myself again. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when it comes to what you were asking, I would definitely say video wise, like what worked and what didn't mm-hmm. back in the day. Like not saying okay. I messed up. With right. videos, but like kind of like, uh, okay, this video went viral. What did I do in this video? Mm. Or this video didn't do good. So what did I do in that video that wasn't mm. good that I don't want to do again? Right. So right, right. when it comes like what you were just talking about, I would definitely say in the video aspect, because uh, I mean that's all I was doing right. back then. I mean it's only been what going on three years now. So right. uh, that's what I would say probably video wise. Got you. I do have a question. I want to backtrack all the way. The Black Badger. We sort of got to it earlier, and we tried to not ask too many questions before. <laughs> when you left, I was like, we start talking football, and I was just asking, I was like, I'm just asking some questions that don't really pertain to the interview. But we talked about football, and that's how he told me he got his name. So tell me where the Black Badger comes from. For the people so, who don't know. So the Black <clears throat> Badger, my boy, uh, shout out to Brad Cannon. He gave me it a uh, sophomore year of high school. Okay. And uh, my favorite football player Tyron at the Matthew. time yes Tyron uh, Matthew. because <laughs> i played corner so right uh man i had a picture of this man in my locker wow and i had the mohawk it was i had the mohawk <laughs> as well i, had I can the see mohawk. you with a mohawk low key. So, I, ain't gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I had the, you know how his was a uh, blonde yeah so i think that played into the honey badger so mine was black and then one time my boy brad cannon was like yo what's up black badger and i was like <laughs> Yo, I like that. Yeah. So like, it got to the point. There's people back home don't didn't even know my real name. It's the Black Badger. Yeah. Boy, they just yeah. call you the Black Badger. Yeah. They just call me the Black That's Badger. Crazy. So it's been, I don't even know how many years now that people yeah. just know me as that. That was a poisonous time here in the men's oh, yeah. society, man. <laughs> yeah. That that between Tyron Matthew and OBJ, man, Look, that just and people right. people think OBJ started that. I think no, Tyron no, 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 no. Matthew. Yeah, he did. Tyron yeah. Matthew started that. Tyron sure. Matthew, I think was at. LSU yeah, right before him and he exactly. started it and then Odell exactly just, he just made it you know what I'm saying he made it mainstream or whatever mm-hmm. right, catching right. one hand punch out it's it, it just like uh, uh, Justin Jefferson he, yeah. he didn't uh, yeah. start the gritty that's uh, Jamar Chase mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, wow. Yeah, I wanted to bring that up though. We was talking about. I was like yeah. the black when you first, because I didn't know who you were at first, and he uh-huh. sent me the stuff. And was like, yo, we gonna have the black badge, and he kept saying it. Like I'm like black badge. That sound like a superhero. Or something. <laughs> yeah, bro, this, <laughs> yeah. this man is a superhero. Yeah, shit. Oh God, hell yeah. So I so tell me, um, where you at now as far as like collaboration? Cause I see you uh, with our guy Daryl Mays, man, yes, who's sir. another creator that's killing it right now. So tell me your mind now in terms of co- collaboration. And where you at? Uh, uh, so right now, man, I, I'm gonna be honest. Like usually, I, I like keeping my circle small. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's easier that way. Exactly. <laughs> so my main guy. So the first person I collab with, obviously, was my little brother. But then my mm-hmm. boy back home named Jeffrey Jordan. He's also an actor, and he was what he's we're signed to the same agency. Okay. But that's he plays a huge role where i'm at today right uh back home when we was bored i would tell him ideas and we would go crazy on skits and he was like my man to go to to do skits all the time he you can go early in my videos and you would see him in majority of it yeah so him and then that's when i got the Char- charlotte daryl daryl mays we started doing stuff and then my boy dt uh dante uh he went to charlotte now he has 2.8 million subs mm. on youtube wow so mm. he's an og That's so nasty. before he even blew up he was doing youtube when we were at charlotte but he was doing dance videos and it's crazy we mm. met and he he hit me up he was like yo you trying to be in my dance video <laughs> so there's a youtube video out there with me and him dancing oh, i wow. think i think i've seen it i think yes, i've seen bro, that video. it was a while ago <laughs> Wow. So I, but I can dance. I, I, you can I, dance? I, yeah. Yes, bro. I can dance, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I can dance, bro. Like on some Chris Brown joint. Bro. Oh, shit. Me too. Oh, he, 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 that's a challenge. Bro. That's a, that's a challenge. <laughs> no, I, I do Subscribe it. Subscribe to the Patreon. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe to the Patreon. We're going to have a dance battle. <laughs> Girls like Stir versus the Black Badger. <laughs> hey, that's. It's your man. <laughs> running it, really? But yeah, That'd DJ, be uh, he's another dude I collab with. And then yeah. Kyle Exum. Uh, he has 5 million subs on uh, t- uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. He's an OG. He was around during Vine. 
So Whoa. he just moved to Charlotte. Shout He's out doing Vine, good. man. Shout so, out Vine. So yeah, for real. Niggas forgot. You were, the crazy thing about Vine is you had seven seconds yep. to be funny as fuck. Yeah, I don't know how, how they niggas, did it, bro. How was niggas I don't, doing I don't it? Know. Seven, I don't know. Like, I think it was seven, right? It's seven or six. One of the two. Regard, seven or six seconds? That Bruh, is crazy if you can, to make a viral video in six seconds <laughs> worth I, of content. The crazy thing about <laughs> that is it's... It kind of depends on how your mind works, like, cause I technically all of this stuff falls in a under under the umbrella of like creative writing, mm -hmm. but it's like it's like a I don't know like a like a certain type of move, like some people like that bite sized comedy, like t right, I struggle right. I struggle with like TikTok and shit, I, I struggle with that, cause it, it's so quick, bro, like you really mm -hmm. gotta let well, some people you know you got eleven seconds and then you know like on YouTube you really got like five ten minutes to really mm -hmm. get your, your stuff off. So right. is there if there do you have a preference for like a time or like a, a little pocket that you prefer? Shoot, um, the uh, platforms told me what how much I got time because uh, what what <laughs> it is I can't yeah. do short videos no more. I do fifteen thirty seconds, right? And they don't push it out. But as soon as I do a minute. Then they want to show the whole world. Wow. So it's just like, you're going to do a minute or we ain't showing you nobody. you do a minute. Yeah, we need that watch time, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I was about to say something. <laughs> I know. <laughs> please, please, we'll leave it out. We'll cut it. He didn't edit it, so he'll cut it out. I got Hey, I'm marketable. I'm marketable. Right. I'm marketable. I'm marketable. I'm marketable. We'll keep marketable. But I say, your people can talk to all people. We'll get it cut out. We'll get, we'll get right. it, we'll get no, it cut out. Crazy. Facts. What? Damn. Go, 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 go. I got one thing you mentioned earlier. You got a business. Mm -hmm. You have a business. Yes. Tell us about it. For so people who don't know. Yeah, it's uh, Double B Productions LLC, and okay. basically, uh, in a nutshell, it's just me working with brands. So okay, everything, that's just your professional umbrella. Exactly. Everything gotcha. that I, I get paid for goes right to the business. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's brands, anything. Yeah. I possibly do acting as well. So it goes right to the business. Okay. That's fire. That's fire. That's another spark note. LLC. Get business get, then you get an LLC you get your LLC yep. then you get your business credit you get a hundred thousand business credit then once you get you, <laughs> you seen the videos on TikTok they be like uh, uh, black uh, black dude it was like Umar Johnson how they be uh, and they, yeah yeah the, yeah the entrepreneurs be like you gotta get an LLC you gotta wake up at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> you, you buy two homes and then you put one mortgage property down and then you just you bro, get an LLC <laughs> you know, that video had me weak bro, bro crying he's been going viral off it. I don't know who the dude is but he's been going viral okay. I mean he probably did like you went viral off doing one of those mm -hmm. and now like He's on like part 36 Gosh, You know what I'm saying of, of, of those Like that little series Yeah bro. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You find something that work what's, what's, the, what's the saying If it ain't broke Don't fix it Yes yeah. You stay no, right there In that fact. lane man that's You stay right there In that lane And kick it you yeah, I want to kind of uh, Pivot off of that So mm -hmm. you say You know don't If you don't if it ain't broke Don't fix it But like right. a lot of times With like social media As far as how I see it mm -hmm. Like every six months it, It's some major Changes Yeah changes mm -hmm. In this landscape So I will ask like From 2020 Or even 2019 with like in terms of content has there been any major changes that have made you like pivot or i gotta start doing this now or i gotta change this in terms of your content um i would definitely say uh man i just move with the time honestly mm -hmm. so whatever's popping i just jump aboard uh, trends. That, but Following i will trends. say i will like my niche is comedy right so whatever as the trends and stuff change i must still be comedy but i'm gonna switch it in a way that's in my language you know what i'm yeah, saying give yeah. us give us a little so for example. example um what's some trends that was going on back day back then uh like that uh white that white mirror white yeah, yeah I the did white, one of those white yeah, white, so I did white. one. I like that. But I did it when I I wiped, and then my my little brother was behind me like a robber, and he mm -hmm. snatched me. Ain't nobody was doing that. Right. So uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it in my way, switch it up to get uh, people's attention. Facts, facts. So that's really that's why I try to tell people with this um, content creation thing, like find a niche. So if it's comedy, do it, and then see what other people are doing, but do it in your way. Yeah, yeah. So make like, it your own. exactly. So like, I think my comedy niche right now is doing relatable things. Mm -hmm. But like, I make s the littlest situations that are relatable way bigger than what like it's taking supposed the trash to be. Out. Exactly, gotcha. exactly, and that's what gets people watching and focused and looking mm -hmm. at Whoa, what's going on. Facts. Like uh, anything relatable, like uh, be taking the chicken out before be your mom to think gets about there. That. So, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think about like stuff that we do on a normal day and how you would make that fun. So what out of today, what we done today? You came in here. What would you have made a skit about? <laughs> With us, whether it's us <laughs> setting this up and taking forever, Brill for getting the Zoom pod yeah, track, how to run it. The, yeah, off the top, the what, what, was, what would you off if it was top. like make a skit right now off from when you pulled up to here? What's, what would be something funny uh, or something that's like normal but 
funny. I don't know. I'm I'm subscribe to the Patreon uh, to see this kid. Uh, <laughs> right. I, I, the only <laughs> we should make a skit. The, the only, yeah, the only thing that come to mind is when <laughs> someone tell you at a certain time to get there. And oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's sex. <laughs> Like, you're like, yeah, get there at 2.30. All right. All right. Like, All right. Hey, yeah. it Hold on. Yeah, we're going to be ready in a second, bro. It, it, won't, even, it won't even 2 o'clock. It won't even, it, so it won't even 2.30. Yeah, so for y'all listening and y'all watching. That's good. We originally, had, good. The time, we originally good. had the time at 2 o'clock. Right? 2 o'clock was supposed to be here. 2 o'clock, right? <laughs> so then, you know. Oh, uh, go ahead and put it out there. Tell her. Tell I, I know, because I, I made a mistake, too. I'm going to let you expose your own sins. Go ahead. I was coming from South Carolina. I was looking at it. I, I fucked up. I was like, you know how the GPS got like the time you arrived yeah. versus how long you got? I think I had an hour 30, but I thought that said 1.30 was my arrival time. So I had two hours to drive. Or something like that. So I'm like, I'm, like, I'm going to be there. I got in the car, bro. It said arrival time 2.30. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. So I'm pushing it. I'm, I'm hitting bro. I'm like, yo, bro. I'm going to be late. I ain't going to be there till 2.30, bro. I'm supposed to be here at 2. So I got here at like 2.25, maybe. But yeah, that was my fuck. That was, my, that was the first part I messed up. And then so from there, me. I kind of took the rest of it. I took the rest of it downhill, man. <laughs> downhill. I, I'm sorry, Pink. I hit Pink. Pink was like, "Oh, it's cool. Bro. I'm taking this shit anyway." <laughs> Put him out. He was taking a, a, a mean one. I, 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 uh, to the Super Bowl. I hit Christian. I was like, "Yeah, two thirty. He was like, "Yeah, man, that works. That's cool." So, and that's the worst thing. Giving the nigga like me is the worst thing you could do because yeah. I sometimes I can't sit still. I have to be productive, bro. With right. Just, so uh, what do I do? What does my dumb ass do? I, I take the shit. shit and start editing and start looking at mm. sounds and stuff, man. I had the bag packed ready to go. Yeah. So then, okay, I'm looking at the time. I'm like, dang, okay. I got Amazon, time. I got to knock at the door. Amazon's supposed to come up, right? Right. Uh, I got a dog, right? So the, the, uh, so the package comes and I'm like, oh, this is dog shit. What, what the hell is my XLR cable? <laughs> what the hell is that? Right? So I'm like, oh man, I got to rush down to get yeah. the XLR cable. So, I hurry up, throw all the stuff in the car, go down, drive down to get the XLR car, our XLR cable. Yeah. Wait in line for thirty minutes. Yeah, the lady right. tells me not even 30, 20 minutes. The lady tells me, "Oh well, it, the line, the side that I'm waiting on is like the guitar side. Mm-hmm. It's like real guitar player, guitar center, and yeah, guitar center." She says, "Oh, what you need is on the other side." I go over there. There's nobody over there, so I Dang. wasted my own time. I go wow. get the XLR cable. Wait in line for another two minutes. Oh, that's a lighting cable. <laughs> Okay, go back to the other side of the store, get the XLR cable, <laughs> come back, pay for the XLR cable, drive back, get here, set up, You're setting up, <laughs> set up, everything smooth, music playing, look around like, shit, what, we what, it, what, <laughs> what, what the damn, pod, what the, the fuck is the pod track at, man, yeah. the pod track is where, where we record audio on it, right. if you're a podcaster, you want to know, it's a, called a pod track, Zoom pod track, free game, and I'm like, Man, listen, bro. I ain't no way somebody <laughs> ran in here and got this shit, bro. Yeah. And I'm thinking like, oh no, I was playing with that shit earlier. Yeah. Damn. So yeah. I had to shoot home, come back, and then we finally got it in this like three thirty. Yeah, we, we started, didn't start shooting. So usually when we say a time, we don't start shooting till an hour after. So our new thing, our new goal, we're gonna have to get here an hour before we say our shoot time is. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. Just absolutely. To let all the kinks out and all that yeah. shit. But it be happening. But that would be a funny thing. Hey, it's a process, though. man. It's a process. It is. And luckily, we had a creative that understands everything. Oh, don't yeah. happen. You know, as soon as you want it to happen, and it, and it, you know, it'd be little hiccups, bro. Like, what has been the biggest know. L you might have taken, or potential L that you've taken, setback, or just frustrating moment mm-hmm. with like this technology, bro? Because <laughs> oh, technology, man. I remember one time, um, I got the exact same uh, tripod right there that you got. Yeah. These right here, and um, I took, I like flicked the thing, the uh, to take the camera off, and mm-hmm. the camera went forward. <sighs> And it fell, and the the screen in the back broke. God, so, uh, inside the camera? Uh, like y- no, not the not so the, you know the screen you can flip. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that wow. that that one. Yeah, it broke. Damn, cracked. Yeah, yeah it cracked. Shit. So so after you finished destroying the rest of the house, what did you? <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. That same night, I had to buy another camera. Damn. Straight up, I had to. So, um, spark note, invest in yourself. Nah, for real. Sometimes it be that, it, and it you know sucks, but it's like I gotta get it done, you know. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, thank God you were handling your business because so you, yeah. you can get another camera. Because I know somewhere in America, it's somebody that was doing exactly what you were doing, mm-hmm. but they that shit broke, and it's like, well, nah, I ain't buying another camera. Bro. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, that's yeah. what they call that's it the quits right it. there. That's the end of it. That's, that's sad. the end of it. Jesus Christ. When, when the, uh, so tell us. So obviously you had the bread to buy another camera. Are you full time? You're full time creator, right? Oh yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So like, when does uh tell us about like the business of it, the starting the business of it? So you're going viral. Um, how does 
what were you, were you doing anything for work during that time the pandemic online or were you oh well, mm-hmm. uh, like job I know in the beginning I was getting that check I know that $1,200 oh, that YouTube that you too? no well, well, the the pandemic check oh, oh the stimmy <laughs> the stimmy yeah, I was getting that stimmy, stimmy was getting that I wasn't stimmy. I wasn't getting it like that yeah. at first he was getting that stimmy so, the badger was stimulated hey man I, hey, I, I started from the bottom for real <laughs> feel me uh, what's it called but I think um <laughs> I say you two? No, <laughs> no, no. Joe, well, that was Trump, right? Huh? Was hitting the stimmies out. Right? Yeah, that At was that time. Trump. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was Trump. We this podcast that, is not the, 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 the support Trump. Your own, your, your own political this podcast views. has no is it Brought to you by the Apple Center podcast. <laughs> and back to you, Black Badger. <laughs> <laughs> now, what am I saying? <laughs> right. Oh uh, no! But before I started doing videos, I was working at um, Lifetime Fitness in University. Mm. Ooh, okay. Yeah, and um, eat the frog fitness in metropolitan area. Eat the frog. Yeah, the frog. it's a. I, I, I was wearing part time both of them. So uh, interesting. That's when uh, when I went back home. Uh, they shut they shut the gyms down, mm. so I couldn't work. So uh, that's yeah. that's how I was earning my money. So at you first. went to Jacksonville. Uh, no, so I was working there in Charlotte. Okay, but mm. I had to go back home because of the pandemic. Okay, because uh, I wasn't going to be able to afford my rent. My my mom was helping me right, at right. the time, so I had to go back home. Shout out, mom, dude. So when you yeah. got the stimmy, when you got the stimmy, you at home, like with mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So that whole stimmy was just stimmy. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the beginning of what was it? Uh, double. What was it? The LC. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was yeah, the beginning. Yeah. That was yeah. the beginning. That's crazy. Yeah, that's so <laughs> yeah, that's uh, and then what I continued to do it. I think I got my first brand deal. I didn't accept it, but the first offer I had was like, uh, I remember it was like. Ten twenty dollars, and I remember trying to negotiate the thirty five dollars. <laughs> Wait, for, who, 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 was trying, who was trying to give you twenty dollars? It was bro. like a, it was an app simulator. This is a, it, but this was in the beginning, man. So yeah, was, tell me about it. About, so they was, was trying thirty five dollars, and no, they probably no, I tried 35. to negotiate. They to give them twenty, and them niggas was like, nah, thirty five is too much. What? Yeah, yeah, what? yeah. You're breaking so our pockets, like, man. You're breaking us. <laughs> So I was trying to get 35. I remember talking to my mom about it. And she was like, no, don't do it. Don't do it. If they don't want to give you 35. I was like, What right. did they want you to do? They Make just video want me it? to do the video of that fake ab simulator. You can't even find it because it was fake. But wow. I think it's the same thing that uh, uh, on Joe Buck's Joe podcast. Joe, the little, that was a, like a it, menopause it, stimulator type it, of thing. That's the same, the, same situation, right? Situa- it was cheap, though. This was, <laughs> And then they wanted to tell you, like, oh, Tay is like, it's free, no shipping, but it costs like a uh, hundred bucks or whatever. Right. So trash. I, I don't know. They they tried to finesse, but my first official one was like eighty dollars, and I was okay. lit. Where? I was lit. Who was that with? Uh, it was some uh, website. I forgot what it was, but it was some like quick little game website. And I uh, wanted you to make a video. Yeah, yeah. I just did a comedy video. It's still on my TikTok, like deep in the archives. But yeah. that was my first one. Got wow. eighty bucks on yeah, PayPal. That was a good question to ask. <laughs> so, what, <laughs> what is at eighty beans? Do you have any advice for like uh, young creators? Let's say I got a I got a video blowing up. Boom! Then I, I repost it on uh, TikTok. It's on mm-hmm. YouTube blowing up. It's on TikTok now. It's starting to catch waves, and I'm starting to be a little consistent. Mm-hmm. And as these brand deals come in, do you have any like uh, blanket or tactical or specific advice? to give like young creators as they navigate this business um i would say in the beginning especially you saying with brands right yeah just period just money and whatnot period yeah with brands though uh in the beginning i would say take what you can get Mm -hmm. but as you continue to get bigger bigger definitely know your worth right you know what i'm saying i think um spark note uh, Spartan. As I got bigger, I, like till this day, some of these brands be playing with my name. What they be playing with me? I'll be like, nah, it ain't be good. Like yeah. to so other people, that's right, sometimes not. Sometimes you consistent. gotta say no though. Yeah, because you, you know your worth. Um, there's like I don't know, man. I ain't gonna say no brands, but uh, there's like some brands will come at me lower than what is expected, and then like I had one situation where I told them what it was. They went lower than that. Then I tried to meet them at something lower than what I wanted, right. and they went lower than that. Oh, so I was man, like, "Nah, yeah. I'm good on that." And yeah. then they tried to come back with me with some more analytical stuff. And I was like, "All right, now, y'all it kind of disrespected my name." Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, like and that. then that's why I'm glad I got a circle around me—the creators, Daryl, Kyle, and Detay, where they're mm. already at that level. Right. So right. I bring them to this the, those situations to them, and they all tell me yes or no. Mm. And it's uh, it's good when you have a good circle like that. Yeah, that but was another spark note you said earlier. You keep a small circle. Oh yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. But yeah, either, yeah. either way, just have some circle of people you can reach out to to ask those questions. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm doing this. 
you know, you can't be afraid to ask for help, basically. Like, what would y'all do in this situation? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Still make your own decision, but mm -hmm. get input. Good input. Yeah. Worthy yeah. input. No, that's true. Yeah. And um, that circle I'm in, man, there are some great creators. Yeah. Um, uh, like I said, Kyle, he's been in the game since we were all in high school. Wow. But he's, like, known so much analytically, he knows what it is. So mm -hmm. when it, I need a situation like that, I go to him. Nice. Or, like, money-wise, like, DT's killing the game. So I go to him about some money stuff. And yeah. Daryl, when it comes to creativity, if I need something spark, I go to him. So like, Facts. it's like we all doing something. We all are different. Right. And then when it comes to making videos, like if we need help, everyone's there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Kyle, That's fire. like DT mm -hmm. lives in Raleigh, and he drive right down here to do a video. If he need us, we drive two hours to go help him. Yeah. Oh, See, Christ. that's support, bro. That's real deal support. So Dang. yeah, that, I like that. We we know. Um, Cause our fan bases are about the same yeah. you know, mm -hmm. when it comes to like younger kids to like my, uh, younger like early high school. Right. So we know like it's all it's going to do is help us. Like I've been in yeah. Dita's video. Uh, I don't. I think it was like different childhood sleepovers, like part something. But um, I was in his video and it was like number four trending on YouTube. Wow. And I went to Miami. And the, these kids saw me. They was like, "Hey, you Miles from DT video." <laughs> they didn't even know me from my channel. Yeah, they knew me from a, his video. Wow. So like, like he's low. Fuck, I'm the black magic. <laughs> the black magic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I played that character in his uh, video, yeah. Yeah. and like that's just exposure. You know what I'm saying? Right. Him seeing me could have led him to subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I I I'm very grateful for it and uh, very that's blessed to be around the guys I'm around. It's a good circle to have. It's yeah. a good circle to have. Do you ever? Um, Cause this is a question. This is kind of like a selfish question that I kind of go through. So like with my with my YouTube channel, nowhere near as successful as yours, but it has like uh, I have a decent amount of subscribers up there. So I, when I go places, I do get some people who be like, okay, I watch your channel, this, that, and the third. But I do find that sometimes there are people that um they they I guess they're getting older, so they say, oh, it, it goes from I watch your channel to I used to watch mm. your channel. Do you ever think about uh, kind of like recapturing? like or aging up in the audience mm -hmm. or like mm -hmm. in terms of content and whatnot uh youtube wise no because there's more kids out in the world than adults okay mm, there's absolutely. kids being born every day and so they that, born with a tablet yeah that's, just, that's the crazy part to, to be so honest them it, it kids, is some tablets raising they be literally right like now. on just pressing them videos that look fun you exactly. know what i'm saying and just be exactly. on the tablets they be on it and yeah. it's, but it's crazy so my longer videos are mainly for like kids middle school right. and all that but my shorts and tiktoks is usually our age okay and anyone can relate to gotcha so it's like it's almost like my sub like subscriber count when it comes to ages it's kind of split right but right. when it comes to tiktok and instagram it's kind of adult you know so interesting um I, I that's why I, like i don't post my different types of students on instagram because mm. it's silly is y'all yeah. not gonna really laugh at it but gotcha. them kids yeah they, they laugh love at this it. they, they love, love, that. love this shit. so wow. it's like that's why man it's crazy and the impact I'm making on these kids is crazy. Like, I get emails from parents like, yo, can you give, like, a shout-out to my kid? Like, it's his birthday. Like and cameos I, and all that. Yeah, you yeah. You have a cameo I, account? Yeah, but I do it for free. Okay. I, I do it because I, I know I think about 10-year-old Christian. Right. And when I was on YouTube and how what I would have wanted. Right. So I took pick, put my place, put myself in that kid's place. Right. And how much a small message just saying happy birthday will make their day for free. Word. That's what's so up, So I bro. do that. It don't, I get emails from parents and I do it every single time. Nah, I do it, uh, personal videos too. Word. So you were saying you remember how a uh, 10-year-old Christian was. Um, it you. you 10, you were born in 97, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. 10, you know, that's not really, 2007 isn't really that was the major. Birth of YouTube. That was the first year of YouTube, right? Yeah, 2007. Yeah, I think so there probably around that time. weren't many crazy creators out there, but nah. in terms of just your entire journey and who you looked up to, are there any creators that kind of made an impression on you early that you said, hey, that's what I want to. Uh, like, uh, to this day? P yeah, period. Uh, yeah. Uh, Desi Banks is a big one. Desi Banks. <laughs> Desi. <laughs> Desi. Desi. Um, I was uh, fortunate to def met meet him. And oh, like we're, we got a good connection now, so that's, what's up. that's, that's a real cool yeah, guy. Fine. And every yeah. time I hit him up, he hits me right back. That's so I up. do, I do like that. Yeah. Uh, who else? Uh, Drewski's doing his thing. Yeah, Drewski. Yeah. And it's crazy because I don't even make content <clears throat> like it. Them, yeah. I could. Yeah, I could. Right. I'm, I'm definitely funny enough. <laughs> but <laughs> Talk you know, your shit. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, they're they're doing the thing, and sometimes I want to kind of go that route Venture but into I, it. I know my crowd i know my lane right so it's like right. i'm not about to switch up yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying sometimes so, it's too late to do that switch. exactly but uh they desi drewski 
Uh, Country Wayne is another person I like. Shout out Country that, Wayne. Speaking of clean comedy, nah, he yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. And uh, my parents be watching his videos. And uh, uh, what's his name? Not to cut you off. Philip Hudson, Emmanuel Hudson's oh, brother. Yeah, yeah, he yes. wore one of my shirts in Country oh, Wayne's video. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's dope, yeah, bro. So that was hard. That's that was a hard. Win. My people was like sending it to me like, that's yo, Country dope. Wayne, got your, he got the shirt on. It was, it was lit, though. Nah, but yeah, I like how, I how clean he is. Right. And um, how is it, he's also clean on uh, stand-up. Okay. As well, so he he does good with that. But um, and I also did I did stand up for a little. I did it once, and yeah. it turned out really good too. Okay, right. but that's uh, a whole another layer. Yeah, you didn't like it? You, no, you, no, you, no. I'm, I, I honestly feel like I can be great in it. Right. I'm not lying. Really? But I did it that one time, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, that anxiety I had before I got on stage, <laughs> crazy, was crazy. Ri- it was the worst I've ever had in my life. But I got on stage and killed it. Shit. So uh, so bigger than. Uh, Division one football. Oh yeah, because you got. I guess football. You got a helmet. That yeah, first yeah. hit. Your nerves <laughs> yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, team. I ain't go. It's a team of people. Thing, yeah, the thing that made me got anxiety with um, football was when you had a game. And then you had to go watch film right. with the whole team and coaches, right, right, and being scared to get called out. Now that gave me anxiety. For oh, sure. What's old boy? Uh, 30. Coach Thirty. Yeah, Coach, that's my, that's my, that's my boy Brendan. Hey, he is fun. So hey. we did a video together too. What? I, really? I flew him out to Charlotte, and we did a video over at Char, uh, the stadium and stuff what? like that. Bro. So that's my I dog. That. I gotta see that because, uh, like I said, I went to South Carolina State. Okay. And he did one. We was the first ones to beat Jackson State in the Celebration Bowl. Oh, okay. So he did a video. He did one of his little. Uh, not little. He did one of his videos, um, the Jackson State versus South Carolina mm-hmm. State. Bro, it was hilarious. Yeah, was hilarious. Dude, I watch his videos all the time, bro. He found a lane and like stayed in know, it too. He stayed in and he's gotten so. And I, he's I told him it. when he came here, I was like, bro, I didn't know what you were gonna do after football, but he went into all other types of sports. Yeah, yeah. And he's killing he's it. Killing bro, it still. So yeah, shout out to him, man. He, and I know his videos. I be looking at. They probably take a minute because he puts. Mm-hmm. We, you know, he does like each character. Mm-hmm. So you gotta film each person and then like the coach part. And then he got he got a paraphernalia from every school. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah, they give yeah, him yeah. that? Do you, did he ask him about uh, that? Did, did they send I, him that? Does he buy it? I, what did he tell me? Because he got. I mean, he had he had Jackson State stuff on. He got the buff stuff. I mean, any team he does, he's gonna have on. He probably gets this for free, right? Now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm so now, he does buy some of it. He does buy some of it because okay. I remember when he came over to my apartment, he had yeah. to film something. So I know he ordered <laughs> like some gear to come to him and stuff. But wow, uh, he probably got so much gear, bro. From like all these teams and stuff he be yeah, doing, yeah. But overall, as a person, he's a good dude. Shout he's a good him, dude, man. funny dude. Shout uh, out that that guy, he's cool. He's you know, cool. You know what I was waiting on? So he has this uh, character. Basically, every single character he references is named Davis in yes. that video. <laughs> I w- I couldn't wait until it was actually like Anthony Davis that he was talking about. <laughs> so it was right, really right. Davis, man. It was with somebody named David. He probably would switch it because he got what is it, Davis, and he do. Uh, What's the other? Uh, he does a couple of last names. A couple last names, if I'm not mistaken. But Davis is definitely one of them. Damn, what's the? I can't think of it right now. But Jeez. maybe he would switch it. I'm thinking, if it actually was someone named Davis. Nah, nah that's it? what I was waiting for. <laughs> waiting on I was yeah, waiting yeah. for Anthony Davis. Uh, you know, I'm not with. I want Anthony Davis to see you, but when for he sure. had a bad game or when he got injured, mm-hmm. like in the first quarter, I was like, oh yeah, he got to come with some five, six, yeah, yeah, yeah. he got to come with it. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> but uh, is there any? Uh, you said you work with a. Uh, so you, you you connected with Desi Banks. You know, Drewski's one of the people you, you look up to and kind of. Uh, you love what he does. You work with uh, Coach Thirty. Is there anybody else that you haven't really worked with that you want to collaborate? Your dream with? collaboration. Um, mm. Mm. That's a good one, man. It's got a lot of funny people out there too on the uh, internet. Like yeah. sh- some of these people need to be on TV. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. nowadays, man, the internet's bigger than it TV. Is. Right, right. The, not to cut you off. Yeah. You know what's crazy, man? It's what's sad, that? bro. It. <sighs> I don't want to. I don't. It, it. It's a big actor. I don't want to say the wrong name, but they were asking him about the uh, Hollywood movies, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, they were asking about Hollywood movies, and they were saying, "Oh, why? Why aren't films and movies as good? Why isn't the movie theater situation as big as it was 10, 15 years ago?" Mm-hmm. And they were saying because of uh, the budgets and streaming. So, streaming basically killed the movie industry. They were saying yeah. how yeah, yeah. instead of, okay, well, now you can just say, hey, I'm not going to go to the movie theater the first streaming. month. I can just wait a month and I can stream it and watch it for $24 yeah, yeah. instead of going back and forth. Yeah. And But what that does is it, it chops a, a movie that costs, you know, $30 million to make that would have grossed, you know, 
60 70 million dollars and makes it so a film like that isn't even profitable yeah. so they can't put as much so a lot of the great films in terms of like netflix and stuff right. you, if you look at the cast i pay attention to it they have a limited amount of uh like bullet train they mm -hmm. have a limited mm -hmm. amount of like scenes and yeah. sets and they have a, like maybe less than 10 yeah, 11 characters in it you know what for mean? sure yeah can't pay everybody like yeah. not that much you don't got the budget facts. for it that's tough man that's facts dream collaboration we ain't forget um uh, i would definitely say uh for sure, Desi. Desi, Desi that's right. that guy. One day, one day, one day. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, he could definitely, yeah, y'all could definitely see y'all doing something. Yeah, you know and what then uh, what's what is it? RCDC, RCD World, or RDC? Fire. You're marking all them. Yeah, yeah. Mark. I, so I met them at the Streamy Awards. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, saw that. I, I met saw them that. at the Streamy. I saw that. Uh, I tried to meet all of them. It was too many of them. Yeah. So I tried to go up to each and one of them. But right. Mark, Mark, I found first, and he was cool. Yeah. And then, that's what's um, up. but yeah, that that and then. I mean, obviously, I feel like Drewski, I would want to meet him more than anything. Right, right. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's so far. So far, that's those dream collapse, those two. That's hard. That's fire. What would you do? What would you do with Desi? I'm interested because he got that this ATL, the right. ATL yeah, swag. I can see him being like videos. another character. Like, or, yeah, I would you know have to. I can, bro, I can. I, I feel anything, like I'm yeah. very versatile. Right, right, right. So, yeah. though I do like skits that are like, uh, I make like movies be like and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, whatever he would need me to be, I would. Yeah, I'm asking because you know, he do, like he does stuff in the school sometimes. He'd be like a another student, like he yeah, hanging yeah, with, like, yeah, yeah, hanging yeah, with yeah, your yeah. hanging with your homeboy in the lot in the hallway. You so, so y'all beating on the wall. I probably or do. I know he's done some football skits in the past that too. too yeah. So yeah. I, could, I think he, I could do come something from a football with him. Background. Yeah, yeah. He played at Georgia State. Yeah. He told me so. Uh, yeah, real good, cool dude. That's for what's real. Up. Shout out Desi, man. Shout out Desi. That's funny. That's why I asked that because I'm always interested in how people come up with these creative skits. And you were saying like every day, like when when I was making skits, bro, it's it's very draining. Like for me to make skits every day, I would have to live in a creative pocket. Like I can't have a life. Yeah, run a business. Well, nah, I, I can't do that and make a funny video every day. Every it's day. It's sort of just it's, like working out. That's like muscle memory for him. Like you see how fast he came up with a video. Like fine. I did. Like once you nah, do it enough times, his, but it don't be ten. Like, that's for me with a TikTok every day. Oh, it takes uh, hours for me to do a TikTok. His he's like five. Well, he minutes, don't figure bro. out how to make it fast. Like, how, yeah. so was it always that easy to kind of go for time, or you know, what are you more comfortable with? I know you said each platform. What are you more comfortable mm -hmm. with in terms of time? Uh, so I love doing uh, minute videos. Yeah, like that's right. my thing. Minute. But uh, like when it comes to YouTube, I I try to do like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, with mm -hmm. those videos because more one, if you you get to put more ads in between and mm -hmm. stuff like that, and you get paid more. But uh, I don't know. I, I it seems like. Uh, I just move off of what they want. For example, like That's like right. I said, TikTok and Instagram and stuff. When I post minute stuff, it all gets pushed out. Mm -hmm. And then I've learned the longer on YouTube, they they push that joker out. And the reason being is because mm -hmm. they want the viewer on their YouTube as long mm -hmm. as so, possible. Gotcha. So when uh, I noticed when I was doing like shorter skits like five eight minute skits they're doing okay mm. but then i started doing 10 15 minute and they were pushing them jokers out mm. wow. youtube was pushing them out so yeah. even when i learned from daryl daryl would do these um what is it compilations yeah is yeah. that the right word uh, yeah Com yeah he would yeah he would throw the, all his videos together it'd be an hour long and right. he would have a million plus views God, so wait. i was like all right i'm gonna do that yeah. and i did it and now i got like six hundred thousand views on a like a, a two-hour video, video. Jesus like videos Christ. I've already made. Yeah, that so, rev singing boy. For yeah, that one. so God. That's I, crazy. I learned that from Daryl, and then I think this year I made a best of 2022. Mm -hmm. wow. So I put all Recap. my videos together. It was like 10 hours, and it has God. like a hundred and. How did you edit that? Right. You know, it, it, any, ten hours of rendering that, time. All of my creators, people who edit, you know, Final Cut Pro, Adobe. What do you edit? It will blow my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, so the good thing is, so I did get a new MacBook because um, I, I have that one too. Okay. But I got a new one with like two terabytes, uh, mm. and then I have a uh, s uh, another drive that's like four terabytes, and another one that's um, two. Okay. So it's like eight. So the new <laughs> Mac I got is fast, bro. I don't. I can, it, it, it costs a little bit though. Yeah. But it was that worth it because I investing in myself. Yeah. yeah. So uh, work out. that 10 hour video, I kid you not, took 30 minutes to render. It took 10. Yeah. 30, 30 minutes? Yes. 4K For 30, 30 minutes? Video? Yes. And I was surprised. I didn't know what was going to happen. It took 30 minutes. I need you to send me a link, bro. I, I need <laughs> yeah. you to send me a link, bro. We yeah, that's crazy. Like, I, had a, I had a 20 minute video today and it took 10. Ten minutes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so, that thing cranking it so out. So when you edit, you edit with two hard drives. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just from so I only had those hard drives because it's from my old computer, the old laptop okay. to bring everything over. Mm-hmm. But uh, the main uh, the main edits are from that computer I got now. Okay, interesting. I try to do some like you know, trying to with this with this computer. I tried to move the Final Cut Pro app into like one hard drive, mm-hmm. and I tried to edit on it. And it kind of, it's better than it being on a computer, but I don't know. Do you have like a workflow that you have that's like your favorite if you have like a huge file you're uploading? Mm. Uh, what do you mean? Like, let's say you got, uh, it's a compilation and it's 30 minutes, right? Mm-hmm. You have all of them, they're, but all of them are like oh, recent. Oh, they're all on the same drive. They're like, all on the I same have, drive. Do you have a workflow for yes. like, okay, what, what, can you explain it? Uh, As in, damn, I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I ain't going to even cap the, 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 My bad So okay So uh, what I'm asking is Okay so let's say You got a compilation All of the files on one drive Boom mm-hmm. So I'm plugging the drive up Boom uh, uh, Do you use Final Cut or use Adobe or Oh I use Final Cut You use Final Cut Okay, okay. smooth 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 Did, Does Daryl use Final Cut too? He uses Adobe. Adobe I don't know how I'm he a do Adobe Premiere guy You, Adobe, yeah, Adobe. Yeah, you guys Adobe, are man. elite I love it bro. I can't do it I went to school with Communications that was, okay. the, that was the platform we learned Okay And I'm okay. a beast and, and, Hold on and Communications got Adobe Premiere What the fuck is, <laughs> yeah, what you think, I didn't what's get that I didn't get that Charlie needs to step What y'all is this? <laughs> Final Cut We really? went on Final Cut nah, we, had, we had a uh, Adobe um, Student account So oh. we had the whole cloud Dang Premiere Uh in what is it encoder like the everything all the, the whole adobe Jeez, suite yeah. shit south carolina state ain't uh, on, no, ain't, hey, this ain't uh, right. Cook when you say you all right, right, right. right. Now, we, <laughs> yeah, i'm a i'm a adobe guy bro. Hey. final cut ain't my thing so, adobe i'm in there so you hold on you said you said the library so you were editing on the library at one point in time when i started when you started i used to go to the library and edit funny story crazy yeah. Our first episode I almost <laughs> blew up. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, what? He was in there. I almost <laughs> blew up the computer. I was like, "Hey, stir up, man!" Because our first episode was like an hour forty eight minutes, uh-huh. man. Because the conversation was flowing, it was right. good, man. We got comfortable, bro. So I'm in there and uh, I color grade the whole thing. I haven't like because it's a podcast. I'm gonna yeah. have to splice it up. So I got you know files on top and whatnot, all the edits in there, and I go to like save it, and the shit just. Crashes, bro, oh and I'm just—it's not even like moving. It's yeah. just like not—it's just like still yeah. all the colors, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and, he sent me a picture of the screen. Picture, I like, hey, dog, I don't know if we're gonna be able to put the whole. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the first episode is half video, and the rest of it is audio. Like the full oh, audio is on Apple, dang. but yeah, yeah. Grass, if, halfway through his edit Eventually, process. eventually, we'll get it so our loyal Patreon subscribers can, uh, you know, what I'm saying, see the full version. <laughs> Everybody sure. else is uh it was a good, it was a good little half too, but we we worked it out. We got it done. Cool, cool, definitely, man. Um, so yeah, so is there any any advice just for you know life that we can say like okay, the badger, the black badger says da da da. Yeah, anything you want to say. This is the clip that we gonna run. Inspirational, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For four the little or five people gonna, with violins behind four you. Four or five <laughs> people gonna steal it, or it could be or it could have like the little. Dun, 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 Eric Thomas You got one <laughs> <laughs> your, message, your message to the people man I was poor Before, if you want Homeless to <laughs> to Drop out I didn't know my mama and my daddy I didn't have a house I didn't have a toothbrush Oh we You gotta succeed A thousand it's miles Six you breathe uh, MLC Is that any uh, <laughs> The black badges Closing words Whatever you wanna say Whatever I wanna say um, Uh Keep God in the mix in everything you do. Mm. I feel like uh, you can only go so far uh, if you don't have them in the mix. Right. And um, I feel like everything I've gotten in life is due to God. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like when at the time I walked onto the football team, that was a uh, that alone. I go back to that testimony every time I'm going through hard stuff right. because right. I remember when no one legit knew me on that campus to right. him getting me on the football field mm. and I earned that scholarship. Yeah. So it's like if he can do it then, what else can't he do in my life? You know what I'm saying? So just keep God in the mix and everything and keep the kingdom first. For sure, man. That's how you're gonna succeed in life and let that. Can't let can't let anybody change that. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of distractions. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And I'm blessed, you know what I'm saying? The money and stuff is all cool and stuff, but I don't let that distract me from the yeah. goal and that's really Real humble dude making an impact in a Tesla, i'm gonna just say it <laughs> man he's a humble dude hey, though <laughs> and, it, and it got rap on it <laughs> it's it's the, the, colors, rap. You see him. the rap the rap is the difference the, man. Rap, that's hard. the rap is the <laughs> we talked about that too but humble dude what he did put on that test he put the rap on it <laughs> 
Low shit key is olive <laughs> green, man. I was like, oh, nah, my. It's not even a sea black bass. Tell my license plate is that. Go ahead, man. Tony McCullough. Since we're here, H4. Hey, dog. Niggas looking for him. There you go. <laughs> like, well, I, tried to, I tried to keep it big. Yeah, he said, "Olive green, green." I'm sorry, man. I got to give this flowers, man. Listen. Oh no, it's uh, actually peach. Uh, right, uh, yeah. 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 We got no. him with that one. Yeah. Yeah. We got a few. Yeah. Shout out to Ben. Yeah. 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 We got him. Is there anybody? Okay, uh, is there anybody that you think we should interview next? Uh, we should we should do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, Daryl Mays. Absolutely. That boy got a story. What? You think he I, got it from the ground up for sure. Right. I never actually asked Daryl, like, personally. We never talked about his whole journey and whatnot. Damn, that's Yeah, Daryl, like, he told me his story. Right. And that junk is inspirational for real from where, because he started YouTube before me. Right. So, you know, I kind of blew up during the pandemic, but yeah. he was, you talking about, Daryl's making skits when he had, like, a thousand subs. Wow. And stuff. So, mm. like, you, if you interview him, his story is really inspirational. Dope. What's gonna be crazy is you're, you're gonna be our guinea pig for like anybody else we interview. Like, yo, look, look at this interview. Look at yeah, this. Facts. You're our That's first it. one, bro. And I feel Absolutely. like, man, we learned a lot, bro. We got spark notes. We got like anything. I feel like now. I feel like I know you. Like I met you today, and now I know the story. Generally, I understand what what's going on. Mm -hmm. Like Elizabeth City to. You Shout know, out to the two five. The streamy, what is it called? The, <laughs> the streamies, the streamies yeah, award, which like, is huge. My bad. Yeah, we didn't get hit that. God, before yeah, we go, I'm sorry. Before we go, can you talk about the streamies, man? Real quick, Yo. tell them what it is and what you did. Yeah. So uh, that this is another God thing because I man, I've been in this game for what, two years, and usually the big time content creators get invited, but eventually, I guess. What is I'm, the streamies for the people who don't? Yeah. Know. So the streamies is basically like the Oscars for uh, online content creators. Mm. Got you. So the people that are on top of the game on the internet, they yeah. get invited to the streamies, and it's uh, I forgot a, a movie. It was right in uh, Beverly Hills, California, mm. Mm -hmm. at the Beverly Hilton. So uh, that was the first time I went to California. Period. Wow. But uh, yeah, I was uh, invited to be a uh, one of the announcers to announce the award winners for. I think a uh, top uh, streamer or best online streamer or something like that. Nice. So uh, yeah, it was some big names in there. Uh, Kai Sinat was there. Yeah. Mm. Um, R R C D C. Uh, is it R D C or R C D C? I have no I'll idea. I be getting they so I confused. Have no bro. idea. But they were there. Yeah. Um, uh, this dude named Quackity. He went on stage with me. Yeah. I didn't realize how big he was, but that man, every time the stream he's posted about him, and it was me and him in the picture, it was quackity, quackity, quackity in the comments. So uh, I was, he was looking hey, like, I, okay, I got to have at least one yeah, back match in here. Hey, <laughs> so it was an honor being on stage with him. Yeah. And then this dude named Darman was sitting next to me. He got like 17 million subs on YouTube. Golly. So it was, it was some, happen, bro, bro, it was it's some. Seven, but it, it's that, okay, then. It's like, that's like Logan. Is that Logan? That's like Logan Paul. I don't know. I know it's touch with Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Raleigh, bro. It no, he's from what? he's from Greenville. Green North Carolina? Yes, Greenville. He's from the two five. He from yeah. Greenville, bro. He still stay Look there. Him. He still stay there? Yes. Absolutely. What's the address? Hey, y'all be saving it's twelve out here. <laughs> hey yo. But nah, that's dope though, bro. I was just saying that, you know, like it's been it's been dope having you on, like hearing your story, bro. Inspirational. People gonna get a lot out of this. Yeah, absolutely. We got man. spark notes. If you pay attention, you watch it from beginning to end, there's gotta be one thing that that you know, resonated with you, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. We appreciate. I ain't trying to wrap it. No, no, yeah, let's yeah. wrap it. I'm just giving you my appreciate yeah. you coming though, Brad. It's yeah, dope yeah, to hear yeah. your story. That's you know what I'm saying. This is what it is. But I say, yeah, we want to. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it, man, because I don't want to. You know, we, we took an extra hour to get ready, so Fact. we, we, we got to be respectful of his time, we're man. Right. We don't daylight so, savings. <laughs> So, man, so this has been a beautiful episode, man. I thank you guys for watching, man. Yeah, YouTube, buddy. please click, like, subscribe, leave a comment, man. Uh, if you're listening to this, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Uh, we this is this is gonna take a lot of endurance. This road we going on, we sticking to it, man. And even though we've come up against so many like little knickknacks and trials and speed bumps, we it's gonna tough this thing story, out, man. bro. And we gonna this is gonna be it, we ain't going nowhere no time soon. So you better get used to hearing our voices, man. Yeah, Brother Christian, man, we appreciate you so much for having us. Yeah, sir. Appreciate, appreciate you, dog. Appreciate Big Pink, man. I appreciate you, man. And this Pink in the back. And it is. <laughs> this is the Epicenter <laughs> Podcast, man. And we out.